So we have to try to use Hubble to look at, at great distances in spite of the fact that all these uh, famous uh, astronomers said, no, you're not going to have any success. And astronomy is the one activity in life in which you can actually look into the past. Nothing else does it. <laughs> and so we look out in space, we're looking back in time. And if you look far enough with a good telescope, you can see how this structure formed. Hubble Space Telescope is the best telescope in the world to do this. And we had a science coffee every morning at the Institute, and I would go up there, even as director, because this was so important to research. And I remember the day he came in walking with this picture and said, hey, look at this. We just got the redshift. It's 1.3. And I said, wow, my God, that's amazing. So we have to try to use Hubble to look at great distances in spite of the fact that all these uh, famous uh, astronomers said, no, you're not going to have any success. And the reason they said that partly was Hubble had spherical aberration. It was repaired in a servicing mission. That cost one, more than $1 billion, which was almost 50% of the cost of 30 years of development of the telescope. So the government was angry with NASA for having made a bad mistake, and the public didn't want their tax dollars. Yeah. And, and so for this reason, when I suggested this project of the deep field, everyone thought, first of all, you're probably not going to get a good result. Secondly, when people hear that the director devoted 10 consecutive days of this telescope to this, you know, uh, and got nothing, this is a waste of money. I've uh, always believed, I'm, I'm a risk taker. Yeah. If you're going to be a leader, you need to be a risk taker. And so this was part of the reason, perhaps, for my success, because it's instinctive to me. And basically, I said, someone has to try it. If it fails, I will resign, you know, because the public, this will make the newspapers, everyone will say, get rid of this guy. And, um, uh, and so I got together with the team, basically, and we uh, came up with this project for the Hubble Deep Field, and it was a dramatic success.